As you can see, my first experience with the new Segway P100S was not so good. I think the uh, app said 1.2 miles in is what I had on it. And before everyone jumps my case, I grew up racing BMX, motocross, Formula Mazda. If you look me up, I've been doing this my whole life. I'm not quite Travis Pastrana, but you know what I mean. I've been doing this a long time. I've had a lot of broken bones from motocross, racing, you name it. But, and, actually, but, and, eh, great English. I've had a ES4 for, I think, since 2019. I have 754 miles on that thing. So I know what these are like. And then all the lift ones around the city are Segways. So I'm very familiar with Segways. This one, my old one, is front wheel drive. This one is rear wheel drive. I'll get to that in a minute. I always wondered why they did that one front wheel drive. But see, I put Lamborghini. I don't know if you can make that out. Um, because a while back in Chicago, when they were doing the demos for all the scooters for the limes and whatnot, everyone thought all of them were rentals. So everyone wanted to take mine the minute I got somewhere. So I put Lamborghini on. I think, no, do you think the Lamborghini is <laughs> it's, your, it's a rental? Uh, anyway, that's just my sense of humor. But this one's front wheel drive and it has suspension on it. So one of the techniques I used to use as, as you go, you could go off a foot high curb with that one, with the suspension. If you land flat, kapow, it's hard. But if you do like a wheelie and kind of like bunny hop, ollie, whatever, like t -t -t, set it down, you could go off, probably go off a two foot high curb as long as you do it right, just t -t -t, and I always did it. But because the drive was always coming from the front wheel, you never have to worry and it was fine. Now I noticed the front wheel, front tire became quite bold after some time because anytime that thing is airborne, it's zzzz, and then when it hits the ground, it's like an airplane tire hitting the ground, right? This one's rear wheel drive, much torquier. And a dog was chasing me at first. So I gunned it right around the corner to get away from this dog. Then I thought, wait a minute, this dog doesn't look like it's gonna bite me. I stopped. Funny, I brought that up because dogs always, ch they don't like these. They always chase me on scooters. Um, stopped, caught up with the owners. They weren't holding it tight enough. It just got out of their hand. I thought I was gonna freaking get eaten alive by this dog. This thing is fast. It's not even, you have to, I think you have to ride three miles before it goes into its fast, fast mode. So I wasn't even at its fastest mode yet. Literally, you have, I was only, as of right now, this thing has 1.2 miles on it. So mind you, it's not even in its fastest mode. Went around the corner, came around, stopped for a second, looked around, then went to go off a curb. Same technique I just explained with this one. I went to go off the curb, lifted it up. Except this one's rear wheel drive and much torquier. So when it landed, it did a wheelie, flipped me back. I don't know how fast I was going at that point. Dragged my foot backwards. I tumbled, it tumbled. I would say it did pretty well. I mean, the only thing that took any damage is this uh, hook, which is what you use to latch it to carry it. But I don't know, that thing's useless right now. But a couple little nicks and scratches, but other than that, needless to say, Landed me in the ER last night. So, hence the crutches. <sighs> Eight and a half hours sitting in the ER in a wheelchair by myself. Picnic at Northwestern. And I don't know, I'm see if I can hobble over there. I don't know if you can see this, but this is what it did to my shoe. Just road rashed because as it wheelied, my foot came off the back and it just bent it back probably like this. And that's why I'm in such pain right now. They think the x-rays, there's no fractures. We don't know. I have to go to another doctor and find out. I haven't been to bed yet, but I figured I'd do this video now because I'm just kind of wired up. I'm just getting home from the hospital after eight and a half hours in the ER. Um, 
they use the technical jargon, torn, da 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 whatever. I'm on crutches, obviously, painkillers. Uh, not a picnic. Everything's swollen up. So be careful out there. And uh, as much as it might be a good idea to be used to that one, rear wheel torque is very powerful. I don't know whether to be happy or upset at Segway for this. Remains to be seen, but just be careful.